everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to do the twist straps for Sandpiper. Now I followed the tutorial up until this point. I have my main and my lining sewn together. Go ahead and lay your bodice out with the front facing up. Then also make sure that your main fabric is facing up as well. For the straps, go ahead and fold that up just to show you a little bit. Make sure the straps are not twisted in any way. Then go ahead and take the left one and lay it down. Then take this one and lay it over top. The next thing you are going to do, and something to note, I went ahead and added my safety pins to both of the straps already just to make it easier. So go ahead and take the strap that's on the bottom to the right. Make a note of where the seam is. I have the seam right here and it's on the inside. We are going to twist the strap all the way around until the seam is back on the inside. So again, make sure it's not twisted in any way. There's the seam. We're going to twist it around. The seam's on the outside now. Twist it back around. And now the seam is on the inside. Then you are going to take this, make sure you don't twist it anymore or make sure it doesn't come untwisted. And you are going to use your safety pin. You are going to thread it over this strap that is here and all the way up to the opening. Now, once you pull it through, make sure you make note of where the seam is. Make sure that seam is still on this side. The seam will be on the same side as the arm side. So once that's in place, go ahead and pin or clip it in place. So this is the strap we're going to be doing next. Make sure it is not twisted. Here's the one we just did. This is the only one that's going to be twisted. So go ahead and take it and fold it over without twisting. And then thread it up to the top. Make sure it doesn't get twisted at all. And then again, make sure your seam is on the side where the arm side is. Once you have that, make sure it's even with the top. And then you will pin or clip these in place. And then take them to your sewing machine using a straight stitch and sew these in place using a quarter inch seam allowance. Make sure to go back and forth and back stitch a couple times just to make sure the straps are secure. Okay, once you have both of them sewn up, go ahead and clip your corners and your seam allowances. And turn your bodice right sides out. And once you have it turned right sides out, the back will look like this. The straps will just nicely go around each other in the back like this. You will give your bodice a good press 
and you are all set.